All right, yo, what's good, Stereo? I'm live with Freezy. What's good, Freezy? Come on now. No, I'm good, man. I'm excited. I heard that today we're doing up like relations, answering relationship stuff, and it's gonna get a little bit uh, interesting, a bit mixy. Basically, we're taking all your questions about relationships and whatnot because clearly we are both relationship pros. Right? Yeah, we're gurus. We're gurus. Yeah, yeah. Very Breaks elite. In the scene. All right. So, mm -hmm. I want to know, because obviously we're about to give people like some serious or not so serious relationship advice. I want to know the extent of your knowledge on relationships. Like, tell me something that you've been through. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Straight to the point. All right. Cool. cool, cool. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Some, something that I've been through. Um, do you know what? Yeah, I've made a lot of mistakes. I can say that for sure. I have made a monumental amount of mistakes, yeah? Whether that be um, messing up in a relationship, whether that being um, getting into one when I knew it wasn't right, but I just sort of did it. Ultimately, I believe, yeah, that um, the, the key to success in any relationship is in fact communication. 100%. And, and, and if you nail down and if you are not afraid and you're confident uh, enough to communicate, whether that be your issues, whatever it might be, I promise you it will make your life easier, it'll make their life easier, and it will make your relationship healthier. That's what I believe. Bro, you hit them with the realness just then. And I actually learned what you just said the hard way. Do you know what right. I mean? Like, I got into a relationship with a girl, a lovely girl, and the communication wasn't there from my part. I think this year, and for me being in that relationship, I've really learned how to communicate and open up to not just whoever I'm in a relationship with, but with my friends and family. Like mm -hmm. most people know me, I'm a closed book. I don't even speak about this stuff normally, but here I am mm -hmm. live on stereo. I know, I couldn't believe it. Why, strangers. yo, when you said, when you told me, oh yeah, Cal, we're gonna talk about like relationship, I was like, yo, Tobe has changed. He is an open book. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So like I wasn't good at the communication stuff and that caused like issues for me. And I think I realized that me not having those communication skills meant that I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. And I'm still on good terms with the person I was in a relationship with. But right now I'm just trying to figure out like myself and what I need to learn. You can't be in a relationship if you're not ready as individuals. My boyfriend cheated on me and wants another chance because he said he was drunk. Now, I don't know if it's a valid excuse. What advice can you give? All right, so I'm Apple Juice Gang. I'm gonna point this one in your direction. Okay, Um. look, yeah, it doesn't matter whether they're waved or not. It's time to go. You, you gotta get rid of them. Like that, that excuse of, look, I was waved, like whatever. No, because Un unless un unless you can promise me that you're never gonna drink again, then how can I ever trust you? Obviously, I'm a person for second chances, but I feel like as a as an individual, if, if something happens like that once, there is no guarantee that it won't happen again. In fact, it's probably more than likely that it will happen again. It's all down to whether you are able to put up with that. I wouldn't personally have it. Yeah. Trust is a hugely important thing in relationships, so I probably wouldn't go back if I'm being completely honest with you. Yeah. Um, how do I get into a relationship with Ethan Payne? Like, okay, Freezy, 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 Freezy. I need to address this because this happens to me for Ethan and Harry, yeah? If I'm yeah, going yeah, through yeah. my DM request, uh -huh. I will always get people be like, hi, just reaching out to you. And I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be something important, yeah? Like, okay, uh -huh. maybe a charity donation. How can I get with Ethan? How can I get with Harry? Can you wingman me, essentially? I've got something that these lot need to understand, right? I assume that it, when you message me or Toby these sort of things, I can only assume that you have actually directly gone to the source of uh, Harry or Ethan's DMs previously, and you haven't received a response. Now, mm -hmm. the harsh truth is, they think you're butters if they didn't reply, ah! okay? So hold that, yeah? And and accept that, okay? Because if someone does pique their interest, then they might respond. But you did not pique their interest, okay? You didn't. So unfortunately for you, you're gonna have to hold this one on the forehead. Wow. I just think it needed to be said there, bro. You know? <laughs> because Listen, it's the you truth. might not be butters. You might just not be their cup of tea. That's what That's he meant. In their eyes, you are not the one. So let's just just keep it moving. 
There is, you still have to you hold it, I mean? though. You still have to hold it. You yeah. have to hold it. Would you give someone a third chance if they've burnt you twice before? Twice? A, th a third chance? You're sorry, what? They've done it twice. <laughs> Oh, please, please, no. You want to let them no. go for the hat trick? Hat trick hero? <laughs> <laughs> how, how, is, how is this even a conversation? Um, so I, I don't remember your name, but it's time to cut them off. Come on, you deserve better. Come on. You deserve better. That's, oh my gosh. No, don't let them go for the hat trick. What, so they can take home man of the match to the mandem? No, 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 that's not me. <laughs> the match ball. <laughs> Keep sending in your relationship questions to me and Freezy live on stereo. We got you. Here's the next one. In your opinion, what's a perfect first date? Ooh. Ooh. Do you know what, Froob? I feel like this is a question that you'd be more qualified to All answer. Right. I've, I have been on, on a, a fair few of them. Um, fair enough. And yeah, I would I would say uh, ones, ones where by the end of it, you um you're like comfortable with someone like you can always tell like a few like an hour in or two hours in whether you are already comfortable with the person and you like you can sort of chat about whatever um if by the end of it you're sort of there like uh like still a bit on eggshells like there's still that awkward pauses and stuff like that like that for me mm. is a fairly obvious sign that it's probably that you guys aren't like matched up very well but i definitely would recommend um at least my favorite ones is like there's an activity um, personally, I, I prefer it when I'm getting bev, so I enjoy an alcoholic first date. Oh, we know that. Nerves. We know that one. It yeah. helps ease the nerves. And you know what? If you are someone that does um, not very good in those sort of situations, social situations, then definitely, like, even if it's just a little drink, it, it, it helps. I'll be honest. It does help. Uh, and it gets the confidence flowing. You guys chat about anything. Yeah, that's it. An activity you... combined with alcohol is, is my recipe for a good first day. <laughs> Definitely, in my opinion, activity, mini golf, uh, bowling. Bowling. Uh, all, all that sort of stuff, man. Just go, go and do something like that. It'll be funny. And at least if you aren't vibing with the person, you're doing an activity that sort of distracts you from that. Don't write someone off off the bat. But I think just naturally in your gut, you'll have a feeling as to whether there, there was a... A, a match if you i don't want to say a match it sounds weird but you know what i'm saying what's the best uh covid sort of relationship advice you can give for like kind of date ideas Ooh, i like that i really like that actually that's interesting because i know for a fact there's people watching this or listening to this right now that are in a relationship they're in lockdown they might not be able to see their girlfriend maybe they live with their mm -hmm. family whatever it is this is gonna sound lame but we are in unprecedented times right no joke mm -hmm. like a zoom date you, you dress it, you get all, all dress, dressed up, make yourself look nice, and you and, and what you do is, you say to her and you say you say you have to cook your own meal, and then you, mm -hmm. you compare each other's meal, who's done a better job, whatever, and you just eat. It's like a mukbang. It's like a mukbang through. Trust Zoom me. With your girl. You could even go through the whole cooking experience live on, on a Zoom call with yeah. each other and, and you know, that'll make it even more interesting. That's like doing an activity on a date like we that, were saying earlier. That's sick actually, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, yeah, straight up, put your laptop down in the kitchen and get chefing away, both of you. Yeah, something like that would be sick. All right, do that, do that. How do I gain the confidence to tell someone that I like them? What was that you were saying about uh, alcohol? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two shots of vodka and you're in, and you're, and you're on your way. You're, you've already told him. No. Um, or, or Ray and nephew. One shot of Ray and nephew should do the trick. Um, uh, I mean, I think, how do you gain what, the confidence? Telling someone. Uh, you, you know what? Look, ultimately, look. Yeah, you, you can either go. Uh, you just have to think of it like this. If you don't tell them, you're constantly going to be thinking, "I wish I told them. I wish I told them." Um, I wonder what would have happened. I wonder what happened. If you tell them and they turn around to you and they go, oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in you like that. Apologies. Then you just have to be, you know, have that sort of self-worth and be able to go, no worries, completely understand. And then just, you got to move on. You just got to just leave that behind and just crack on. Worst case is they say no and everything can't go your way in life. Some things are gonna have to go the wrong way. And this is just, just another one of them, or it could just be another one of them things. You'll never know unless you suck it up and ask. How would you take rejection? Suck it up and move on with your life. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that couldn't have been timed any better. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going straight to the last one. That's all I need yeah. to say. Do you think it would be better to have a relationship where both people are in social media and well known or when only one is? Do you know what? This was a techie thing for me, wow. you know? Wow, wow. This that, was yeah. actually a techie thing for me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't think it matters. Once again, if the communication is good, then I don't think it matters. If you can communicate how you're feeling, how social media affects you and this and that, blah, 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 then you should be good. Um, I personally, before I got into a relationship, was always of the opinion that I didn't want my relationship in the public eye. And that's why I was so private about it. Because I've seen relationships in the public eye and you have to deal with all of this and all of it's that. Mad. Like, you know how the story goes. It's yeah. mad. So I didn't want that, but I think post relationship, I've come to the realization that none of that shit really matters. Like you're going to have to deal with it regardless. So I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? It's, it's I mean, I, 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 like, I'm similar to you. Like I, I'm, I'm one of those people. I prefer things to be a lot more private and that's just the way. And again, it's simply because I've seen the way um, friends and just other people on the internet what they have to go through when it does mm -hmm. it, you know if it if if it does go tits up and things break up like it's not nice for either person to be receiving certain messages and things like that so I've always been one that I think privacy would probably suit me better but at the same time there's pros and cons to both like one of the pros you can imagine is that the other person very much understands your job they understand what's required of you and and they just get it a little bit better mm -hmm. um, yeah versus someone that obviously doesn't and they just don't really quite get it and the demands that it has on you um so i think there's pros and cons for both at the end of the day um i, I don't think i would ever be like oh i'm definitely like oh i'm so attracted to you we get along really well but unfortunately you have you ain't got no clout yeah, bitch yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> like you, you either sorry there's not enough followers here or even like now nah, you got 12k my, my limit is 10k and below on insta sorry um oh. so so it's like so it, it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference at the end of the day you're attracted to who you're attracted to and then no matter what you just got a firm firm not the consequences but you know what, what comes with either having a following or don't, or don't have a following literally you can't be living your life in fear based off of yeah, either of those things you know what i mean but yeah froob that is all we have time for today on our stereo show so thank you for jumping in and 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 blessing everyone with your advice no, I appreciate you having me on and hopefully we managed to either uh, fix some people's um, relationships or at least giving them a little bit of guidance. And look, you know, a lot like financial advice. Yeah, don't take mine all the time. I've got some good bits and bobs, but for the most part, it is a bit sus. So at the end of the day, make your own decisions <laughs> at your own yeah. risk, everyone. Yeah, the one thing you have to know is that no one actually knows what they're talking about. So, hey, nobody got a clue. We're just uh, congratulations. We just waffled. <laughs> but thank you for listening. Follow us on stereo. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll catch you in a bit. Peace. See you guys. Bye bye.